All right, I took down notes for this one. Ooh, all right, we've got okay. actual stats for this one. Oh, the Golden all Cross. All right, so what we're looking at here, some of you may be familiar with it in uh, junior technical analysis, as we like to engage, on, engage in here on the final round. Uh, we're looking at a Golden Cross in the S&P 500. That is when the 50-day moving average for the S&P moves above the 200-day. A simple way to think about it is that the short-term trend for the market has moved north or up and to the right above the long-term trend of the market, typically a bullish sign. So uh, this contract with a death cross when the 50-day uh, or the 200-day moves below the 50-day. So just looking at what history tells us about golden crosses. So you go back to uh, 2015, December 2015, we had a golden cross. Well, guess what? The market went down 11% to its trough after that. But if you follow it all the way through to December of 2018, you ride that market out, you were up 27.5%. Now the market once again had a golden cross in April of 2016. You were down about 5% after that. But if you rode it out until December of this year when we most recently had a death cross, you were up 26%. Now of course this is sort of a long-winded way of saying that stocks usually go up, but I do think it is worth remembering that when we see this kind of momentum shift in the market, we can get a pullback in a short period of time following that move but in general, it augurs for pretty positive stock performance over the next couple of years. And I think that it is worth remembering here that we had a really severe reset in the market if you go back in time to what we saw in December. But with the market finally getting some of its internal momentum uh, repaired here in the last few weeks, I think the setup on a longer term basis going forward um, is pretty positive. And we all know there's a lot of risks out there with Chinese economy, Europe, earnings growth, the election is coming up pretty soon. All that stuff plays into the alphabet soup of the daily market. But right now, the technicals are telling you this is a fairly favorable environment um, over the longer term here. All right, junior technical. All right, yeah. yeah. I'm not a CNT, I'm a, just a I'm junior. I'm a senior non-technical. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, so you know the the stuff about the thing about all this is yeah. really it sort of depends on your starting points. A and B, the bias that stocks go up the Miles Udlin rule yeah, right. um, really kind of helps out anyone's argument when you're looking at golden crosses, and it's also a bias against death crosses, right? Yeah. So, because over time you're going to be wrong with that. And you know, you look, and the other question I've had is how much of a leading indicator is it really? Now, when your example in early 2016 looks great, but you know, did you really get anything out of 2019 and the death cross versus? Well, I, I do think that when, when you look at the way we're talking about the, the market right now, which is effectively momentum, momentum yeah. is going to be a lagging indicator. It's not really a leading indicator. It tells you, here's where the market's energy is telling you it's going to go. But by rule, you can't pick tops and bottoms. So momentum is a way to give you a gauge on how you might get near a top or a bottom. One more little nugget. That's what we can do. It's the best we can do. I'm, bu I, I'm okay. buying it. The MSCI actually confirmed a Golden Cross, I believe, last week, and so far it's been pretty good. There you go. Boom. Are you right? going all technical on this? I've got all technical. Oh Brian goodness. Shannon's going to be in New York this week. Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh. We get even more technical. We're going to. Is it possible? It is. This uh. is this is JV stuff. Right. Yeah. <laughs>